Hello everyone, this is Big Man here for a tutorial for the first time in a while. So what we're going to be looking at today is how to make a auto loader. Now, a lot of people have actually requested this in terms of making an auto loader for battle cannons, for artillery cannons, for berthers, anything like that. So what I've got here is a work in progress light tank, armored fighting vehicle, whatever you want to call it. And so you'll notice in here that we have a lot of ammunition, we have a battle cannon. And we are going to be automating this so that you can hit a button, it'll load the cannon, and as well as that, when you hit, hit the button, when you fire it, well, when you hit the button, it'll fire it and then reload. And you can swap this button for your trigger, obviously, or whatever you want to use, but we're going to be looking at making an auto loader system for your actual tank itself. So let's get into that. So the first things first is you're going to want some sort of button, so get a push button. You could use a trigger on a seat or whatever, it doesn't matter. I'm just going to put mine here for now, because I'm not going to be spinning my turret. Next we're going to go into our microcontroller editor, and that was just something I was working on earlier. So we're just going to call this our auto loader example. Now we're going to need a few nodes, we're going to need a trigger out we're gonna need speed and reach we're gonna need load slash fire and that's it now what we're gonna do is simply take a our load fire thing we're gonna get a pulse so search for a pulse so I'm gonna push so it just sends out a very quick uh, pulse, one tick pulse out, and we're going to get a capacitor, so we'll search for a capacitor. They look like this, kind of two plates put together. Now, for charge, we want this to be off, so just zero, and discharge. This is the biggest part of it, this will depend on and what sort of cannon you have. So, for example, if you've got a really long auto-loading system that, you know, takes a while to feed stuff, you want to make this longer. If you've got something that feeding straight into your cannon, like I do, you'll probably only need like 2.2 seconds. That's what I found with battle cannons. For artillery cannons, generally about 8 seconds. For berthers, you're looking at maybe 10-15 seconds. You'll have to test based on your own situation, but for this example, we'll go 2.2. Seems pretty good. And this is going to go into our feed and breach. Now, for the trigger, that's it. Now, obviously, you can add extra nodes, so, you know, just do um, to manually open your breach and stuff like that. But that's it. So we're just going to go auto loader. I can spell it. Example. Let's get our auto loader example. There we go. Button to our load and fire. A feed and breach. Now, I've got a couple feeders, and I've got a breach, and then our trigger. Beautiful. That's it. Now let's um let's spawn this in. And see the gun isn't loaded. Now it's loaded. And fire. See? And we can just Isn't that great? So there you go, that is a very, very simple autoloader, and you, go, you can't see the round in there, that's disappointing, but anyway, I mean, that's all there is to it, and I mean, with a system like this as well, because of the way I've set these feeders up, you know, I can pitch the gun down and up, and I may do something like this, you know, tutorial on how to do systems like this, if you guys wish, but, I mean... See, isn't that great? Yeah, um, so that's a very basic water loader system. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you need me to teach you guys anything else or one of the other tutorials or any video requests, please let me know. Yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.